The surface of our planet is more than 70% water. This liquid network of streams and rivers, lakes and oceans, makes up the vast majority of livable space for countless creatures in our wild kingdom. Beneath the water's surface, billions of animals live out their existence hidden from our view, like the enigmatic cephalopods, eels, and even mammals. Today, we're highlighting a few of our favorite aquatic creatures and the dedicated conservationists fighting to protect them. I'm in suburban Atlanta, and I'm here to learn about the conservation of one of Georgia's rarest reptiles, the Sewanee alligator snapping turtle. We're gonna go over here but first, wildlife educator Christian Cave and U.S. Fish and Wildlife consultant Greg Brashear have a surprise in store for me. Ready? Okay, I think so. Oh, he's so. gonna be a little bit of a fight. Oh my, wait, no. wait, whoa, whoa! <laughs> you are kidding me! <laughs> this is an alligator snapping turtle. This is wild. You're special, what's his name? That's Al, Big Al. Big Al. <laughs> yeah, that's fitting. We're in Greg's elaborate backyard turtle sanctuary, which houses over 200 rescued turtles. Some of them are the most endangered turtles in the world. I am a lifelong turtle nerd, and I do work with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I've been in the turtles since forever. There's just something about them that I've always been drawn to. The wild Sewanee River, which flows from the Okefenokee Swamp in southern Georgia to the Gulf of Mexico in Florida, is the only place on Earth to find the T-Rex of turtles, the gargantuan, prehistoric Sewanee alligator snapping turtle. Biologists Chris Coppola and Dirk Stevenson and consultant Greg Brashear are in year three of a fish and wildlife recapture project to study this threatened species. We trap these turtles, we weigh them, we measure them, we tag them, we release them, and then we recapture them later. And it gives us population size, population density, range, and overall health of the turtles in the ecosystem. What makes this conservation work so important are the threats this turtle species has faced. Historically, North American turtles were severely reduced by the turtle soup industry. Up until the 1970s, teams were pulling tons of turtles out of rivers like this one every day. The Suwannee alligator snapping turtle was just listed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as a threatened species. This is important because this is a species that's slow to mature. It takes decades for an individual animal to start producing eggs. The team heads into the field to hopefully find a Sewanee snapper. Earlier, they set several large turtle traps along the riverbanks. Now it's time to see what they've caught. So this trap is saggy, right? Yeah, yeah. that's gator snapper. Right, yeah, it's, it's got some weight to it. Okay. Oh, it's, oh. it's right here, whatever it is. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Oh, my goodness. Look at that beautiful yellow head. Let's haul yeah. him to the bank for processing. Absolutely. Yeah, look at that. What a beautiful animal. Power, oh. Powerful jaws. Let's get some measurements and find out exactly how big this guy is. Watch yourself. <laughs> I think we're over 60 pounds. Over 60? <laughs> yeah. That is a classic male Suwannee alligator snapping turtle. This is their defensive posture. He's not coming after me. He's just got his mouth open. He's just saying, hey, if you make a dumb mistake, you know, you're gonna regret it. That mouth just sits open, and if anything goes in there, that's yeah. it, you know? Like a big nutcracker. We can set him down and start working on him. 390. Today, habitat loss, abandoned fishing gear, and a changing climate are slowing the snapping turtle's recovery. But thanks to projects like this one, there's hope they can be eventually removed from the endangered species list. One, two, three. Oh, that's a heavy turtle. 75.8. So I think it's bending. I think we were all that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sawani snapper weight correlates to age, which means this turtle could be over 70 years old. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. I gotta tell you what, they're completely deserving of all the respect we give the alligator snapping turtle. North America's largest freshwater turtle species. All right, big fella. Right. Let's place you right back down into your beautiful river system. And let you go. And it's neat that even though he's got the bright yellow coloration, you can see he just disappears. disappears. Yeah. Wow. You would never know he was in there. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my goodness.